answer I will be giving you in your homework. So again, now ladies and gentlemen, we see, again, this is another parallelogram. So area equals base times height. Let's go ahead and identify the base. Again, we have this written up here, which is 14. So we know that our base is going to be 14, all right? So therefore, we can say area equals 14 for the base. Damon, Damon, I would expect something different from that. Um, now, so we know our base is 14. Now we need to determine our height. And we know that this slant, 7, is not going to be our height. So we have to look at C. Oh, we created a triangle. How can we find the height of this triangle? Well, what's nice about this is, again, we notice that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. All right? That's 45 degrees. If that's 90, then that has to be 90 in there. And so since that's 45, that's 90, we know that that has to be 45. So you have to look for your special right triangles because now you have a special right triangle. And we know that if that's 7, then that has to be 7, right? So now we look at our special right triangle and say, all right, what is the relationships of my size of a 45, 45, 90 triangle? And Taylor, if I know, if I say this is um, x, what does this have to be for a 45, 45? If this is x, what does this have to be? X, if you guys remember, on a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the legs are exactly the same, right? The legs are exactly the same for a 45, 45. It's written right there, 45, 45, right? The legs are exactly the same. Now, to go from my legs to my hypotenuse, I have to do what? Multiply by the square root of 2, right? So if I have my hypotenuse and I want to go back to a, find the leg, I would have to divide by the square root of 2. So x is really 7 divided by the square root of 2. And that's the same thing over here. OK? So let's just do height as 7 divided by the square root of 2. And since guys we're finding the area, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna try to simplify this to an exact answer. I'm just gonna round this up. So I'm gonna do 14 times 7 divided by the square root of 2. Oh. And that's gonna be area equals 69.30. And again, since that's in yards, I need to make sure I write in yards. And since we're dealing with the area, it's going to be squared. 